A segment of conducting wire five centimeters long carrying a current of five amps is at right angles. It's perpendicular to a magnetic field of 12 Teslas. So I just sketched it so we can roughly see something that fits that criteria. So here I've got my magnetic field. It's 90 degrees to my current carrying wire. Now remember that any time you've got a moving charge or a current, it creates its own magnetic field and it would be in little circles around that wire. So we're trying to figure out how the magnetic field created by the yellow current interacts with this blue um, external magnetic field. And the formula is dead simple. Magnetic field for a current carrying wire, or sorry, magnetic force for a current carrying wire is B times I times L. Now, as long as your magnetic field and your current are right angles to each other, you're good to go. So it's already satisfied. We know what B is. It's 12 Teslas, so that one's good. We know what I is. It's 5 amps. We're good. And they tell you L. Now, I want to explain L a little bit, just so you don't get tricked on your quizzes or tests. Now, first of all, they say L is 5 centimeters. So it has to be in meters, so we're going to use 0 0.05 meters. Now the L is the length of the wire that's actually in the magnetic field. So L is right here, from there to there on my picture. So we're saying that little section, the length of the wire that's in the magnetic field, is 5 centimeters. Sometimes on tests and quizzes, they'll give you the entire length of the wire. They'll give you all these crazy dimensions. So imagine they give you the entire length of the wire is 10 centimeters. And then they give you this length as well. The length that goes in the equation is the length of the wire that's actually in the magnetic field. And then you just solve. So I've got 12 Teslas times 5 amps times 0 0.05 meters. And when I do that, I get 3 Newtons. And let's practice our right hand rule. If this is our picture, my thumb points along the current, so I'm using the flat right-hand rule to figure out the force. My fingertips are down, and I end up with the palm of my hand pushing into the page. So for my picture, my force would be into the page.